correctly. I started it out of my home six years ago and it's gotten so big. I basically went to the powers that be and they, they've they helped me to get this building and they're paying for the lease and I'm out there bringing in the overhead because we have many, many clients. I'm a single mom. I have an eight-year-old boy, so I was in need of some help. So I heard about this place and uh, decided to come. Was it hard to say, okay, I'm going to go ask for help? It is sometimes, what but I've been in, uh, I've had a hard life sometimes. Um, I went through some hard goes, so I know that there's help out there now, so. If you want to put that light stuff up here, I can handle okay. it. Maybe. Operating out of my home, it was really something else. You'd uh, go into what I call my volunteer room, and it was from floor to ceiling. I go into my rec room, and it was from floor to ceiling of clothing, of bedding, of toys, of food, everything. My sunroom, I couldn't use it because it was full of, full of things. It was a wonderful celebration for me and my volunteers, and I, it was like I won the lottery. I could finally uh, open this place and, and have a place where people could come, uh, people that could walk, uh, and basically get all their needs here free of charge. Mostly with clothing, some clothing for myself and my son, and then it's for the help with some food. How important is something like this in the community, do you think? Very important. Um, I've heard a lot about this. I've, I know a lot of people in Charlottetown that had some hard times and they've told me about Betty coming in the evening and uh, bringing groceries. And what do you think of that? Amazing, because I know these people needed help and she came like after hours and brought them food. We had te test all the appliances. If they're good, we put good on them. Uh, this is our food pantry. We fill every order food that's it, that people when they ask for food. home I had one binder with clients now we have eight that door keeps swinging open you know open people keep bringing the donations and so many people are hearing about it and being sent here like we say we don't send anybody away and as long as they're bringing the donations I can keep this place open you know that's families and families from all over uh, immigrants, um, every uh, government agency, soup kitchen, the new warming station, uh, legacy house, wherever there's a need, uh, Gifts from the Heart is involved in that need. For instance, Anderson House, you know, if a, if a, a mom or whatever finally made that break and uh, Anderson House connects with me, and of course they have nothing, they can't go back home. Basically they come here and they, they tell me a little bit about their story and of course they're upset and whatnot, but we make them feel loved and that they can trust us and they leave here with every stick, stitch of furniture that they possibly need.
nice. <laughs> it helps you be able to give and get things that you never, you know, gives more opportunities to give to your children when you have the help here. So there's that money for other things, so it helps a lot. My name is Susan Palmer and I started volunteering here in the late fall. Uh, I have a friend who volunteers here and she told me about this place and the cause and what it was all about and I thought it was a great cause and I came in and I checked it out and I loved it. I loved the whole concept. Um, I love helping people. I spent 30 plus years in retail helping people and this is fitting me perfectly. And here I am and I couldn't be happy. This is a wonderful cause. I couldn't say, I can't say enough good about it. What I hear from the people that get stuff, I get many emails, I get many calls and there's many tears. They, they basically, a, a lot of them the first time, they can't believe that there's a place like this that can actually come and get these things for free. There's other st uh, stores in the community, but most of these people cannot afford to go to these stores, so what do they do? So that's one of the real reasons I opened it, is because of 70% uh, of the island here is working poor. So if we can make a difference, we've done our job. Like I said, I've been through a lot through life, so uh, I got a lot from people like Betty, um, and I'd like to, to give back what I can. You can be a volunteer here for sure. Yeah. You know, because you know other people, you can help other people the same okay. way as we do when you volunteer. So you're more than welcome. You just have to fill out the forms, and you can start to work anytime you want. Yep. Okay? Thank you. That'll be fun. Yeah, oh, and we got a great bunch of volunteers. Yes, I didn't really enjoy it, which shows my son a lot as well to learn, like, about these teaching places and teaching my son about volunteering and stuff like that and giving back to what we got. So um, it helps a lot. Like I say, they email me, they telephone me, and every everyone I get, I, I cry. You know what? And that means to me that this is my job here on Earth. It really helps a lot, especially uh, when you have children. So, it gives hope. Yeah.